Unfortunately, when we get to the roof, our power saws can malfunction and we have to revert back to hand tools. Having enough and the proper tools on a roof can mean a successful operation or an operation can go south real fast. One of the first things that we can do on a roof with a high pitch is bring a roof ladder. On walkable roofs such as this one, we may slide just a hair, but we can use our halogen to create a footstep and a break for us. Simply take the point of the halogen and drive it through the roof. Now, we could position our foot in the halogen as a step as we're going to work. Our axe is our next tool that we normally bring to the roof. So many of us were taught in fire schools that we should swing the axe and chop through the roof. The axe is shaped like a wedge. Many times when you drive a wedge into a piece of wood, all it does is get stuck, just as this. And we spend a few seconds trying to free it up. One of the tricks of the trade is to take the ax and use the back half so we don't bury it into the roof. I'll now demonstrate that. If you notice, it's a very fluid motion of swing. I'm not throwing my body and trying to get enough force. I'm just using my hands and letting the tool and its momentum cut the roof. This eight pounds is delivering enough force to the roof to cut it. Many firefighters prefer to use a sledgehammer or a splitting wall for the same procedure. I find that often it buries its head into the roof. The weight of the tool carries it into the roof. 